Today I'm going to talk about downloading photos from the internet. I'm going to cover how to do it when it's easy. I'm, I'm going to cover how to do it when it is difficult. But before I start on either of those, I want to point out that you shouldn't do this unless you have a right to do so. Copyright laws protect things like photographs on someone's website. They protect them from having their photos used by someone else. So if you don't have a right to download photos from the internet, don't. Let's start with a case where downloading is pretty easy. Here's the Seniors Computer Group website, and here is a photo posted on the Seniors Computer Group website. If you right-click on that photo, you will get a pop-up that gives you some choices. You can copy the image, or, and then you could paste it somewhere in your computer and save it there, or you can go directly to Save Image As, and when you click that, a page will come up. In my case, it comes up to be uh, on downloads. See, up here, I automatically have it set that when I save something, it comes, it is put in my downloads. So I could give it a name right here, welcome number one, JPG. That's really the name of that photo on that web page, and I could save it. Let me give you another example. Here's the web page for my vacation rental in Hawaii. I certainly have the right to download these photos because I took them and I put them up on this page. And once again, if I right click on the photo, and click Save Image As, it will come up as Living Room Panorama, which is what the name was when I posted it on that page. And once again, it will download into my download folder. Those are two good examples of how to download photos from the internet when it's easy. Now let's talk about how to download a photo from a web page when that web page has made it rather difficult for you to do so. Let's uh, use as an example a uh, another website where that same vacation rental is described. And we'll go to www.airbnb.com. Just airbnb.com. And that takes you to places where you can find vacation rentals all over the world. If you decide that you want to go to a place called Princeville, Hawaii, it will show you lots and lots of vacation rentals in Princeville. Well, one of them just happens to be that same vacation rental that you saw a minute ago on my, vac on my website. And if I click on the thumbnail of that vacation rental, I will get the same vacation rental you saw before with lots of the same photographs. Well, problem is if I click on any photograph here or up here, and let's use this one as the example, if I right click on that, I don't see something that says save photo as. I see something that says save page as. And if I left click on that, 
it takes me back to my download place, but it suggests that I should call it a three master bedroom house on Kauai dot htm. That is a complete web page. And if I save it and then bring it up again in a browser, you'll get exactly the same thing as you saw before. A web page, complete. Now, here is where you get a little bit of extra help for the difficult situation like this. If you right click again and you go down and look at all the options, one of them is view page source. If I left click on that, I get the HTML code that describes that entire page. It is huge. If I scroll down even one quarter of the way, you see how much there is in that to describe that entire web page. It's the source code. There is a way to find the photos that are in there. If you go to edit, and go down in edit to find you can type in portions of what you're looking for and it will take you one by one through all the places where that phrase appears and I'm going to use JPG and the first thing that comes up is Wait a minute, let's make sure it is the first thing that comes up. You go to the previous occurrence of JPG and you see that that's down at the bottom of the page over here. So now you go to the next occurrence of JPG and that's up at the top of the page. So that is the first JPG instance on this page. If you now look at that everything before the JPG and copy it. Whoops. Go to the right just a bit. Control C copies that to my uh, clipboard and if I then go back to a new tab on my browser and paste that address control V into the browser and then go to that address I get the actual picture now if I right click on that picture you can save the image as that was perfectly legal for me to do because I took this picture myself about 25 years ago and gave it to Airbnb in fact, I posted it on Airbnb when I constructed that page. So, you have seen how to download photos from the internet when it is easy. Namely, right click on the photo and left click on save image as. You have seen how to download photos when it is difficult. Namely, right click on the photo, left click on view page source, and you will come to the HTML code of the entire page. You go to find, you put in JPG, whoops, JPG, and you copy the internet address of the photo you're looking for onto a separate browser and then go back to the easy way to download it. That's it. Now, if you want to download something that you don't have permission to download, there's nothing wrong with asking. 
You see some beautiful picture on the internet, you wanted to use it as the front page of your Christmas card, contact the person that owns that internet page, tell them that you're, you think their picture is absolutely beautiful, and ask. They may very well be flattered and give you permission to download it and use it. You don't ask, you don't get.